Hello, I am Rashad Maiti, and I am a representative of the World Health Organization. I'm also an expert in diseases and how they function. This presentation will inform you all about cholera and the outbreak in Jewel Island and how to prevent this disease. Have you ever thought about what's in the water that we drink? Sometimes we forget how our water could be contaminated. Scientists just think that if you couldn't see it, it wasn't there, but that's not true at all. In reality, bacteria or tiny microorganisms rule our world. One type of bacteria, known as Fibrio cholerae, causes the disease called cholera. Cholera is an infectious disease that causes severe watery diarrhea, which can lead to dehydration and even death if left untreated. Cholera could infect you in the morning and kill you by evening. Vibrio cholerae is the causative agent liable for cholera. It's a bean-shaped bacterium with a long tail that makes use for, of its long tail for self-propulsion. So, the big question is, how does it infect us? Cholera spreads to the population via the fecal oral route. It is often referred to as a waterborne disease because it's frequently spread through the contaminated water. However, there are many other methods and modes of transmission. Feces of the contaminated persons which carry the cholera bacteria spread by getting into the water supply, spreading into the soil and being picked up by flies or even being touched by fingers. Each of these things are capable of infecting our food source so that when we eat it, we are also ingesting the cholera bacteria that initially came from the feces of the contaminated person. Because cholera bacteria can be spread in so many different ways, the disease affects people all over the world. In fact, there are 3 to 5 million cases of cholera each year, approximately 100,000 to 120,000 result in death. Throughout history, there have been many epidemics and outbreaks of cholera in places like England, India, and Haiti. Before infecting a human host, the, the, a key factor of the Vibrio survival method in its aquatic surroundings is close it is the close interaction among the microorganisms and shrimp-like crustaceans referred to as cephalopod. The cholera bacteria gather strength in numbers and through the formation of biofilms on top of the cephalopod skin 